I'm waiting on the goddamn bus. But I'm just wondering this shit so goddamn bad. Anytime I go somewhere, I gotta hear the word something wrong with her, something wrong with her. Over and over again. You just heard it from this bitch right here who works in the goddamn cafe. All I can hear is just the slander of it. Left and right, left and right. Something wrong with her. Why the goddamn fuck do I have to hear that over and over again? Nobody else says that. Nobody else um, hears that whenever they go out. Something wrong with her. Something wrong with her. For goddamn years, something wrong with her. She's slow. Stupid. Retarded. Why the goddamn fuck do I have to hear that? And honestly speaking, I mean, this shit just brings me the fuck down. I'm not from here. I'm not from Jackson, Mississippi. I could have friends over here. Shit, I could be a goddamn friend. I might meet a man over here. Shit, there might be an old lady I might be best friends with and I can call her mama. One who will actually treat me like a daughter instead of a whipping girl. But no, whether it's Jackson, Mississippi, Pensacola, uh, Panama City Beach, anywhere I go to, it don't matter. Because what Michael Slander and everybody going around talking about some, oh, something's wrong with her. Something's wrong with her. She's slow. She's stupid, retarded, dumb. And then always kicked around like a loser. Nobody wants anything like that in their life. Nobody. So I'll never be a part of anyone's life and no one will ever be a part of mine. Why? Because no one will ever give me a fucking chance. I've been rejected for jobs, places to stay, friendship, relationships, and everything else that mattered in life. Oh yeah, in the custody of my children. Why? because of the fucking slander. Oh, something's wrong with her. If I am that worthless, why the fuck should I keep trying? Should I just commit suicide instead? Because if I'm that worthless, oh, she's mentally retarded and slow and something's wrong with her and this and that and this and that, that means that there's no hope for me. So if there's no hope for me, why don't I just end myself, right? I mean, don't you fucking agree? Would you agree? Do you agree? And if you do say that there's hope, then that means that I'm not slow, I'm not retarded, I'm not any of that shit. Why fucking say it? Why can't I have a chance in life? Why? I, I can't have a chance in life anywhere. Everybody rejects me. Everybody hates me. Shit, you gotta see my Facebook. My Facebook from last year, people liking my shit and talking to me and liking me and loving me and shit, all that good shit. Now this year, fucking goddamn, I gotta like, bleed, cry, die, and crawl just for a motherfucker to like any goddamn thing I, um, I got on my Facebook. I got bitches who known me for years who won't even goddamn talk to me because of the gang stalking and the slander. Oh, she's slow, she's stupid, she's retarded, she's mentally handicapped and all that other shit and oh, something's wrong with her. I say hey to them through text. You know who the goddamn fuck you are. I say hey to them through the goddamn text and on Facebook. One of them, I swear to God, once in every blue moon, and there is no blue moon. The only moon there is the white moon, orange moon, and the motherfucking red moon. 
So in, other, so in other words, almost never do I hear from that nigga. That other nigga, I don't hear from at all. If I say something, he'll like a comment. Thank you. How do you translate that? I don't know the translation. So, can you translate that shit? That's a whole bunch of people doing me like that. I just wanted to use those two as an example, and I'm not even gonna throw out names. Not until I feel like it's fucking necessary. But you goddamn better know I'll go there. But the video is not about you. I'm talking about a whole population who shoots me down, ignores me, ostracizes me, hates me and rejects me, and abuses me over slander. So, I mean, why do I have to keep hearing this shit? Because if I am that worthless, I might as well kill myself, right? But then bitches will try to say, don't kill yourself, you have hope, you have worth. How the fuck you gonna treat me like I don't have worth? but then try to tell me that I do. Your words are goddamn worthless if your actions are totally op opposite. I'm tired of being hurt. Sounds like I'm just talking shit and y'all figuring, oh, this is the best way to this is the best way to come up with an alibi that, oh, she deserves this, and let's just give her this little sister girl attitude, and oh, let me just be the proper white man to just kick her down and just tell her how she's an economical fuck up and shit. Go get a job. This and that, this and that. I don't have my ID. Have you ever wondered the complications in me getting my goddamn ID? I mean, I mean I'm just wondering if y'all ever wondered that shit. I mean, of course you need documents to get it. Let me shut the fuck up. But on the social tip, domestic tip, romantic tip, uh, employment tip, and then every other tip, you know what? Just because, quote unquote, there's something wrong with me, talking about having a chance in life. I'll never even have a chance in hell either. And then people tell me all this shit, not out of concern, but just to be a gang stalker talking about some, well, why don't you go to a hospital and get some help? Mental health, they mean. When there's nothing wrong with me, but that bit of criticism and supposed advice is based upon the slander. It's just like right now, if Michael came up with a slander that I have cancer, then all of a sudden bitches sit there and suggest that I go get um, chemother chemotherapy. Chemotherapy doesn't work for a person who doesn't have cancer. And all this mental retardation shit that Michael pa um, pops off about me, against me, is a slander. I don't have that either. Yeah, but yeah, let me just go to a hospital just to play the role of the worthless, dumb piece of shit that y'all fucking hate. Just to fit into what? His dream of how worthless I should be. And your dream of having somebody kick down up under you just so that way you can feel like you're goddamn somebody. Like I said, I don't have a chance of shit. Don't try to comfort me telling me I have worth. No, the goddamn fuck I'm not. 
People tell me that I have worth. The end still show me that I don't. <laughs> Just to let you know. What am I believing? Who am I listening to? I'm not giving a good goddamn about your words. I'm giving a fuck about your actions. That's what I'm feeding on. Voluntarily and involuntarily. That's what I'm being taught. That I am worthless. No chance in life, no chance in hell. But then people on YouTube, and even on Facebook sometimes, be wondering, why is she yelling? Why is she cussing? Why is she so aggressive? Oh, why is she talk ghetto? Why is she talk this? I swear to God, no matter what the fuck, I swear. I could have every demon existing is sitting there telling me what the goddamn fuck to say. No, I'm not trying to say I'm demon possessed. This bitch, I be making videos talking about 666. Fuck you. Boy. There are no words in any kind of existence, any goddamn motherfucking word that can compare to the torment, the abuse, and the pain I'm being put through. I'm completely isolated. And the people in my life follow right up under Michael. Obey him to the T. Especially on Facebook. On Facebook. Now, some of these people, very few of them might know each other. Like the two friends I was telling you about early in the video, yeah, they know each other. Shit, we all knew each other. And fucking damn, a few others. Some know each other, some don't. But all together in a group, throw them all in a room, they be like, okay, I know this nigga, but who the fuck is that? Okay, these cats would not know each other. But they will do the same shit in goddamn motherfucking unison. When Michael feels like I need to be isolated, I swear to God, everyone, everyone on my Facebook will not like anything. They will won't like any post of mine or picture or whatever. They will not comment. They will not message, and if I message or comment them, I get no response back. Even if I tag a bitch, just completely ignore me like I'm nothing. I've been getting so hurt on Facebook. I've been getting so hurt, period. Little girl, what the fuck you crying about? You crying because your mama told you to sit the fuck down. I got real shit to cry about. I know real tears. Real nightmares. So you crying because you were told to sit the fuck down. Shut the fuck up. I hate seeing people cry and bitch about shit that's so minimal and I know that she's a child. Yes, that's why I'm not saying shit to her aloud. I'm saying it inside of myself and on my channel. All I know is nightmares. And out of all the nightmares that I go, that I'm forced to live, I have no chance in life because the slander of, oh, there's something wrong with her. I'm not given a chance and I'm left isolated to die. 